Tesla updates Cybertruck. This is a big news today. Elon Musk confirmed on Twitter that Tesla is updating the Cybertruck with a four motor configuration that is going to enable independent power at each wheel and four wheel steering with crop mode like the Hammer EV. This means Tesla will start Cybertruck production at Giga Texas with new quad motor variant. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Tesla CEO Elon Musk today confirmed that the all-electric Cybertruck will have a quad motor variant. That means four motor variant, which will take production priority at Gigafactory Texas when manufacturing of the Cybertruck begins. So this was a big update today on Cybertruck. Musk also stated that thanks to the Cybertruck's front and rear wheel drive modes, the pickup, like I said, will have a diagonally uh, diagonal like a uh, crab mood uh, the driving moving diagonally like a crab like the hammer ev tesla's cybertruck was unveiled in 2019 and was supposed to have three powertrain options for purchase a single dual and tri-motor however after over 1.2 million pre-orders for the cybertruck had been accumulated tesla essentially shut down the cybertruck's online configurator giving the impression that major changes were to come for the all-electric pickup truck from Tesla. Evidently, rumors started to swirl that Tesla would scrap the single motor variant in favor of a quad motor powertrain, like I said, quad means four, four motor powertrain, which would join the dual and tri-motor setup Tesla already is offering. Now, Elon Musk has confirmed that the, there will be a quad motor Cybertruck and production will begin with this variant at Gigafactory, Texas. Holmar's catalog, Holmar's blog, room, uh, wrote on December 2nd that uh, rumor has it that the Cybertruck is no longer configurable on the Tesla side because they are debating getting rid of the single motor version and having only two, three, and four motor variants. To this, Elon Musk on December 3 at 10.55 5 a.m. today um, commented saying initial actually December 3 was yesterday initial production will be four motor variant with independent ultra fast response torque control of each wheel there is no evidence currently that Tesla will completely ditch the single motor powertrain but it had the least amount of reservations on the online pre-order tracker do we have anyone in our community that has ordered the single motor powertrain if yes let me know what you think and why you chose the single motor friends it appears that quad motor four motor cybertruck will have four independently controlled motors attached to each wheel just as the rivian r1t has this increases the cybertruck's um, performance in off-road settings and or when confronted with challenging terrain. It increases torque vectoring and response as well, which makes the ve uh, vehicle more confident with it is, um, when it is traveling over tough road conditions. Musk also stated that the front and rear wheel steering capabilities will enable diagonal driving like a crab mod. As you know, GM has indicated that uh, its Hummer EV will have crab mood, which effectively will help the vehicle improve its capabilities over difficult terrain. And, uh, and uh, Marv, the Twitter user, asked Elon Musk, could it turn like a tank? Elon Musk responded on December 3 saying we'll have both front and rear wheel steering so not just like a tank it can drive diagonally like a crop after tesla shut down the configuration options on the cybertruck design studio most knew that changes were likely on the way tesla could launch the cybertruck as soon as december 2022 but some have speculated that with tesla's offloading of cybertruck inspired mech uh, merchandise in its online shop that the cyber truck could be coming to the market sooner than anticipated but i think the cyber truck will come once tesla starts building its own 4680 batteries on mass and now a couple of weeks ago elon musk said that uh, tesla has two constraints that delays the new products and one of them was the battery supply and the battery so we'll have to wait until uh 
Tesla's Gigafactory Texas start building uh, batteries and also Giga Berlin starts building batteries. We know Giga Berlin is about to be approved, but I don't know where the battery production facilities construction starts right now. If you guys know any updates, let me know. I'm going to follow on that to see where the Giga Berlin's battery construction facility stands right now. I will ask our German friends today on Twitter and uh, maybe report them tomorrow. Let me know your thoughts, friends, on the four motor Cybertruck. New update on Cybertruck from Elon Musk and Tesla. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla electric vehicle news coverage. Have a great day. Peace be with all of you. God bless you, everyone, and I'll see you soon in our next report. Gigapress development is becoming so important for Tesla that Tesla now is partnering with a little-known casting company for Gigapress development. Tesla is partnering with Exco Technologies Limited, a Canadian company that specializes in designing and developing dies, molds, assemblies, and casting for automotive companies. The company's CEO confirmed on an earnings call earlier today, reports Joey Klander from Tesla Radi. Joey says Tesla has long had a focus on manufacturing efficiencies and arguably is the most efficient and the most popular was the introduction of the Gigapress. The Gigapress is a massive casting machine developed by Italian company Idra, which helps Tesla cast the chassis and bodies of its all-electric vehicles in a swift, efficient, and non-time-consuming manner. Tesla has worked with IDRA to develop massive Gigapress machines that will be used at Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. There are already Gigapress machines working at Tesla's Fremont factory in Northern California, friends. Now it appears that Tesla's partnership for casting and molding technologies is going far beyond IDRA. Earlier today, Exco Technologies held its quarter three 2021 earnings call, where it detailed how Tesla is revolutionizing the manner of automotive manufacturing throughout the earlier sector, and actually throughout the entire sector. CEO of um, Exco Technologies, Darren Kirk, said, uh, and this is via Seeking Alpha, said the following. I'm going to read that. One key trend that will continue to benefit Exco is the increasing size in complexity of die casting aluminum components. Tesla has really pushed the envelope on this front using massive Giga presses, which are much larger die cast machines than those used previously. This enabled Tesla to cast entire subframes of the vehicle in one shot with Giga castings, rather than assemble numerous stamped metal components in the body shop, creating significant space and manufacturing efficiency gains. The tooling required to facilitate this process is very large and extremely complex, limiting the number of players able to complete effectively. Our, uh, our cast tool division is already the primary supplier of all shots and and tooling for Tesla's Gigapress globally. This provides a clear indication of the depth we have in the design and know-how required to meet the challenges of the industry. We expect traditional OEMs will follow Tesla's lead in using these large die-cast machines as they transition to an electric vehicle future. That's what he said. Kirk said that it's cast tool division, which is casting and stamping entity owned by Exco is already supplying Tesla's Gigapress with shot and tooling parts. Kirk stated that he expects Exco's relationship with Tesla to continue to thrive, especially as Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin are concerned. Kirk also indicated that Exco is involved with Tesla through all of its divisions, but he would detail explicit evidence that would show how Tesla is being helped by Exco, other than with shot and tooling. Peter Skull, an analyst of BMO Capital, asked how the two companies were working together, and Kirk stated the following. He said, well, I'm not going to speak to who's privileging those molds today, but I will say that all of our divisions are involved with Tesla at some level, and they are an important and growing customer across 
across the board and we see significant opportunity to expand on that now it looks like the exco's relationship with tesla is going to grow and this is going to become a major part for tesla's business who knows maybe tesla will build casting machines and sell them to other car makers legacy car makers i don't know casting could perhaps be tesla's biggest advantage as it continues to ramp up manufacturing and assembly efforts at uh, its facilities casts for each of its vehicles can made um, can be made in a matter of few seconds friends that's why this is very important effectively revolutionizing the way automotive bodies are made tesla has also shown that casting will play a pivotal role in the company's decision to move to a structural battery pack which will increase safety and vehicle rigidity in the event of an accident this is very exciting let me know your thoughts on all of this friends what do you think about this new tesla casting partnership uh, this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage let's god bless you peace be with all of you and let's move on to our next story